Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful divine masculines, my yang energy. I will, everyone is blissed. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do your long overdue reading. I apologize. It's just been one of them weeks, beloved. It's been super duper hot. Um, and that causes a lot of fatigue. It has been super hot down here in North Carolina. It's 90s and it feels like it's hundreds and tens, like 110. But um, I am here today on this beautiful Saturn's Day to bless you all with your reading. I will, all of you brothers and all of you masculines are feeling amazing. I will, all is blissed in your world. Everything is peace on my side of the planet. So we're going to go ahead and take a deep dive, take a peeky peek, see what's coming and going out, going on for the masculine collective, the yang energy. So let's see what we got. Um, if you are new, I hope you all stay a while. This is, of course, a general reading. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading does not apply, please do not try to force it. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, check your rising Venus, your Mer Mercury or your Mars to get a more clear and concise message for you. If you are unaware of what that information might be, there is a link below that will take you to generate your natal chart. And what it will do is it will provide the information to let you know what your rising sign or ascended sign is, what your moon sign um, is, uh, what your Mercury. So it'll give you a more clear and concise, um, you know, uh, reading for you uh, in terms of what your chart includes. Uh, Shay. So uh, also my readings are timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on this video or whenever you see this video popping up in your feed, that was in fact the divine timing that was intended for you all to do so. So again, if you are new, a little about me, my name is Q, as I said, I am a Scorpio, uh, I channel messages intuitively, and I am also clairaudient, so I will play music in the background, and those messages tend to blend beautifully with what comes out with the tarot cards, as well as what I'm channeling intuitively. I am also an empath. Uh, right now we have Sister Nancy and the name of this song is called What a Bomb Bomb. So what she means with What a Bomb Bomb, a lot of people don't know the meaning of that is um, there's something slippery. You know, there's it's like some ruckus. There's some some sort of chaos, some mayhem. Something is coming in. Maybe something destructive uh, could be approaching you or maybe you've just experienced something that was really um, some. Maybe you just detect something fishy is going on. Maybe there's someone around you that you just really can't put a finger on it. But there's something within your spirit that's telling you there's something that you need to really, uh, you know, you really need to to use discernment. Um, you may need to give somebody a double look, you know, because maybe somebody is up to something. Maybe they're going to cause a lot of um, mayhem in your life, as I said, confusion. Uh, maybe this could be a potential distraction that could be coming in. Uh, but there's something that some of you all may be picking up uh, that's just a, there's a little fishiness going on, something you can't really you can't gauge. You can't put your finger on it, but something within your soul and your spirit, your higher self is telling you, watch them. All right. So be mindful of that, uh, because I do feel like if you don't uh, use caution or if you're not um, using your own discernment, your own inner wisdom in handling this particular person or this particular circumstance, uh, there can be uh, some sort of negative outcome. Something can happen that you're going to be singing them shoulda, coulda, wouldas. So just be mindful. Um, being that this says Sister Nancy, this could be some sort of feminine energy. This could even be a sibling. Uh, maybe somebody is coming around um, 
fishing for information and you're just really um, unbeknownst to you, you could be just divulging information, very, very delicate information uh, to someone um, and you're just aloof as to why they're fishing for this information. Uh, maybe somebody's doing some sort of investigative work on you, maybe doing some research, background checks. Maybe somebody's nosing through your uh, your property. Maybe if you leave your phone unlocked and unattended for a period of time, say, for instance, you go to the restroom or you may go shower and your phone is unattended. If you have a feminine energy around you, they could be nosing in your phone, um, fishing for information. If this is an ex and they come around, they may have your passwords, your pins. Um, so be mindful uh, because I do feel like there's something fishy. There's some someone that's trying to cause some sort of mayhem, some confusion. So you brothers need to look alive. You need to stay on point. Um, if you all have bosses, uh, they could be like really uh, micromanaging at this time, like really going through all of your numbers, uh, seeing if you're meeting your quotas, uh, just kind of being a, a, a stick up your ass, just a thorn in your ass, just a pain in the ass. Um, but this is a energy that I feel uh, spirit is telling you to to really uh, almost like you know guard yourself uh, create boundaries with this individual don't just let them have access and be able to just freely just waltz into your home and have all access like you know limit their ability to move around because I feel like somebody's just really doing some detective work researching looking um, and we have uh, Roy Ayers and the name of this song is called Everybody Loves the Sunshine. So I do feel like um, this is like, you know, use your intuition. The sunshine provides like illumination and clarity as well. Um, the sunshine is like an epiphany. So I feel somebody's trying to find out the truth uh, and they may not believe something you have said. And so they're researching to find the truth. With Everybody Loves the Sunshine, I also feel like you need to know the truth about these individuals that could potentially be in your circle within your cipher um, as I said I'm picking up because that song uh, was mentioning uh, sister Nancy you could be dealing with someone who has Nancy in their first middle or last name um, or even an N uh, but like I said this I'm picking up on a feminine energy uh, so just be mindful be cautious uh, as I said don't leave your phone unattended because I do feel like even your your phone your computers anything with sensitive information um, someone is trying to investigate. They're researching something. I feel like they're investigating you. So if this is like an ex or a karmic or even a family member, somebody's looking for some information. So if there's something that's going on within your family, um, somebody could be looking for some important documents because maybe they're trying to uh, take over you know, perhaps like a power of attorney, I just heard in my mind's eye. So if you are currently um, handling the affairs of, say, an elderly uh, parent or an elderly loved one, uh, there's someone, there's a feminine energy nosing around to try to get their hands on some sort of legal documentation so that they can take over the power of attorney, so that they could take over someone's financial um affairs so just be mindful okay this is not for everyone I'm hearing select few so only some of you all will know if that is applicable to you um, even if it's not somebody trying to take over some documents someone's nosing around looking for something uh, maybe they're looking to see if you're still talking to someone if you're in communication with a particular person um, maybe this is someone that's reading uh, all of your your text messages they're going through your emails they're going even to your archives and um, some of your saved folders uh, some of them could be even going as far as going into like your um, your uh, trash buckets to see if you you've deleted certain information they're like covering everything I just see somebody like really um, persistent on looking for something and you're just on un you're just unaware aloof you know you're not even thinking about it you're not like you're you know what I'm saying you're just not suspecting so you're not even um, you're not even thinking from a position where you need to protect your information but uh, beloveds please do
please protect your information because someone is absolutely nosing around, fishing around for information. And if you get that instinct, like, dang, like there's something about somebody's energy that just doesn't sit right or somebody could be smiling and beguiling um, in your face. Uh, if you don't really, if your first first instinct or that gut instinct is to take your phone with you when you walk away, um, then take your phone. If you only leave it because you don't want to come off like super cautious or super protective, who cares? Take your phone, take your information. Don't leave anything unattended, not even your computer. Because as I said, whilst you're away, they could even be downloading information to track See, now I'm getting a bunch of downloads on this. They could be tracking, like somebody could have downloaded some sort of program to track your your um, your search engines, to be able to read your emails, to read your texts. Um, so some of you all need to do some sort of scan on your phone to make sure you don't have such devices um, downloaded because somebody has paid a pretty penny. And when you're away, if they know your code, all they got to do is connect like a USB to it and it'll download a program unbeknownst to you and now every text you send they're able to read it every phone call you make they're able to see it every email you send they're able to review it so you need to protect yourselves because a lot of you brothers don't realize just how um, cunning feminine energy can be a lot of people think just the masculines just be out here on that you know on that cheating and, and, and they're the masterminds behind it but a feminine energy they're just as uh, you know, they're just as slick and sly. If anything, some would say that they're even more cunning than the masculine because they are intuitively, like intuitively, um, they know what to do. They know how to do it. And uh, this energy that I'm picking up on is, is very, um, very much uh, a, a very deceptive uh, energy, very, very much beguiling. Uh, so they're very intentionally like they smile and bat their eyes just to get you to put your defenses down and let your guard down. And then they're up to no good when you're not looking. So watch your back, watch your front, protect your information. Um, don't even leave your personal documents. I'm hearing social security numbers. Like don't leave none of that sensitive in, um, information around. Um, because I do feel like there is some feminine energy that's nosing around through your business. I'm even picking up even this if this is a mother figure, because maybe some of you uh, masculines have take on, taken on the affairs of perhaps maybe your father. Uh, and maybe if your mother and father were at odds, it's like you took on the responsibility and now your mothers uh, could potentially be trying to nose around to get their hands on some sensitive information so that they could take uh, the power back. Um, and this is not someone who has good intentions. So only you all know uh, the particulars of that. I'm just picking up on the energy. Whew, so that was a lot. That was a lot. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going we're gonna to do some, some deep dives. We're going to channel in. Uh, like I said, we're going to see what's coming in, going out, going on for my Divine Masculine energy. Uh, and then we are going to, um, of course, clarify the messages. I'll say. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. As you all know, um, I always start my readings with the numerology deck. Before we do, I would like to do some house cleaning. So let's go ahead and call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. I say. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creative to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun. I ask my beautiful angels to please bless me with the ability to tap in and tune into my energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of the cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. As I said, we got mint condition, and this is called walk on. And this is 
uh, from the number seven album. So the seven is associated with the crown chakra. Seven is also associated with the chariot in traditional tarot. So I feel like spirit is telling you to stand in your power, to be more assertive, because I was picking up, like I said, some of you all were just very passe, very blase about things, and you need to be you need to be more assertive because somebody is taking uh, taking that passe. Uh, attitude. Um, they're taking that for great, like they, they, they using it to their advantage, I should say. So be more assertive uh, because there is someone being very cunning around you. And with walk on, I feel like this is somebody that you need to leave behind because they don't mean you any good. Seven is also giving me like the seven deadly sins. So I'm getting like the, the devil, someone uh, deceitful, a trickster, someone envious, jealous. Uh, so you could be dealing with like a jealous feminine energy, someone very jealous, someone someone envious, someone in some sort of competition. Uh, just be mindful of that. Bottom of the deck, it could be because you all are master manifestors. A lot of you all have really been uh, co-creating with source as above, so below, as within, so without. So there's been a lot of internal work and the internal work that you have been doing, you're starting to see and reap the benefits of those workings. A lot of you all have also learned how to utilize the elements around you of water, fire, earth, air, and ether. Many of you are, you know, as I said, co-creating. You're speaking what you want into the ethers and you're seeing it manifest. You're writing down your manifestations in your journals and you're seeing it manifest. So it's like whatever intentions you are setting, you're starting to see uh, those things materialize in this uh, physical reality. So that could cause a lot of jealousy, a lot of angst. Maybe people think um, that you have, um, you have more to give. I just feel like these people are almost like, um, they feel very much like you owe them something. These are people who are, are feeling very entitled as well. Um, and we got Brandy singing, sitting on top of the world. So that's why I was picking up. Like somebody feels like you're in a position where you can do more. So it's almost like they're counting your pockets. You know, they're looking at how you're manifesting certain things in your life. And they're like, well, if they could do that for them, they, why they can't do it for me? And it's just like a very entitled, uh, bratty energy. And some of you are, as I said, you got to you gotta stay your ground you got to create boundaries because these are the type of people that are like energy vampires they don't want to do much but they expect the world they don't want to put in the work they don't want to work hard for anything that but they still want to reap the benefits uh and i feel like for you all um you all have learned uh how to you know how to co-create i feel like you all also have been um really healing yourselves really mastering yourselves mastering your craft sharpening your short sword some of you all have been honing your skills your gifts your talents talents. And this is making you uh, appear to be very abundant, very lucky, um, very successful. Um, they're seeing expansion. And it's because things are starting to manifest. The seeds you've sown in the past, they're starting to manifest. They're starting to blossom. And now you're having some sort of harvest. You're receiving some sort of reward. You're receiving blessings, the prayers, petitions, affirmations, mantras you've been sending up. They're starting to be answered. Your rewards are being presented to you by spirit. It's as if others see you as some sort of star. So you could be in the spotlight for some of the things you've been doing. Maybe you've been working very diligently, very hard towards a goal um, that you have been really like learning and mastering. So I do see you like in a very studious energy, uh, working very diligently, very focused, eyes on the prize, eyes of the tiger type of energy. And now there's blessings and rewards coming in because of the work that you've done. And so when you was in the mode of doing the work, nobody was around. Now that you're receiving the blessings and the rewards, everybody's flocking to you. So that's why it's very important for you to use discernment and use your intuition when it comes to people coming around, sniffing around, looking for information, investigate. They could be looking up like, you know, you're your, like looking for your information to see how much you're making. Because I see somebody like looking for your pay stub, you know, looking for social security numbers. There's some sort of sensitive information. Somebody is like really really focused on finding. So protect your energy, keep your, your, your very, um, sensitive documents, um, you know, keep them locked. You know, they have like, um, lock boxes. Uh, they have security, like the chests, uh, safes, I should say they even have file cabinets. Um, 
that are like fireproof and you could lock your documentation, your sensitive information in there with a lock and key. So some of you all need to invest in that, you know, and hide it. Don't keep your business just out. You know, that's very, um, very um, trusting of you, but it's also foolish. So don't be, you know, cause I was picking up on someone who's just aloof, you know, and it's because you're not, you, you, you don't, you're not used to somebody being that um, conniving. You, you, so it's like, you're not even checking for that, but you have to be mindful because somebody is very conniving around you. Ashe, and I do feel like they also um, are looking to, uh, you know, reap some sort of benefit from some sort of blessings you all may be having. So look at this. This could be a karmic, you know, and we see here clearly you all have been doing a lot of work because we got the karmic completion here. So you all have completed a cycle. That's why you have learned how to manifest what you want. You know, this is a part of the step of learning how to manifest. Like when you go through some sort of karmic lesson, um, this is you releasing what no longer works for you, what no longer serves you, people, places, things, ideologies, belief systems, habits, behaviors. This is just, you know, even um, faulty belief systems, you know, like thinking a certain way. This is something else you need to let go of. Uh, trusting people without seeing, uh, you know, any reason to trust them, without people earning your trust, uh, you know, just giving people the benefits the doubt you can't do that nowadays because there's more people walking around uh you know jaded uh than ever you know so it's like you have to let allow people to earn your trust and i feel like that was a lesson that some of you all had to learn um but with this 10 karmic completion i do feel like that's why there's something manifesting something beautiful manifesting for you all and i feel like not only will you be uh emotionally fulfilled satisfied happy overjoyed but i do feel like there is a sense of like some sort of reward blissing financial like something tangible is coming in that you've been calling, requesting. Uh, maybe you've been manifesting a particular, um, you know, opportunity, maybe uh, in your career, maybe a business opportunity. Uh, maybe you've been um, applying for some sort of um, grants, loans for a business um, and you're going to receive some sort of yes answer. So what do we have playing now? We got Jane vibe. So you all are a vibe right now. You have a, a, a high uh, vibration as well. So it's very important for you to protect your energy um, because there's a lot of energy vampires. And I just see a lot of scragglers trying to like, you know, ride your coattail. People that you have, you know, you've learned valuable lessons from, but I feel like it's, it's time to close that chapter, uh, you know, to, 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 you know, fade to black on those relationships that no longer serve you, uh, and, and to move on to bigger and better and to, you know, to, to continue to grow, you know, because this is, this is what, you know, what life is about. It's about growing. Whatever isn't growing is dead. And if these individuals that you've left behind, um, you've left them behind because there was no growth, because there was no subs, you know, sustenance, you know, uh, the, the relationships have to uh, be reciprocal. You know, you can't be the only one feeding and nurturing. So let's check, take a look. So I feel like a lot of y'all are going. So that's another thing. Spirit is saying, look, you know, check the vibes. If people's vibration isn't on your wavelength, if they're not vibrating on your frequency, then you don't need to rock with them because that is like, they're out of equilibrium. They'll throw you out of equilibrium. They'll cause you to be imbalanced. Ashe. So let's tap in. So spirit. What messages do you have for our divine masculine yang energy? You may have a message of love and of light for the yang energy. Thank you, spirit. All right. I got a nice shuffle here. So let's cut the deck. So what's coming in for our yang energy? You may have a message of love and light. And as you all know, I do cut three ways, three times. Uh, Shay, bottom of the deck, overall energy, surrender. So this 91 is the number 10. 10 reduces to 1. So surrender to the divine. I feel more so spirit is telling you surrender to them. Stop trying to take control. Masculine energy is really about being... Um, you know, very logical. Sometimes ego can get in the way. Uh, but I do feel like spirit is telling you to surrender to the divine, you know, relinquish control and just trust that the divine is going to bring you towards or bring to you what you are deserving of. We have, um, we have Jay-Z singing Bam. Now, this is the second time Bam is being referenced. That's a very interesting thing because with Bam, we just had Sister Nancy open up the reading, and now we have Jay-Z's, um, 
Oh, no, this isn't BAM. Pardon me. This is called court their, Caught Their Eyes. Oh, wow. So I don't know why I thought this was BAM. But look, this is Jay-Z's 444, Caught Their Eyes. So remember I was saying Spirit was telling you to surrender. And then the album is called 444. And that's associated with like, you know, angelic messages. So your angels are telling you to surrender to the to the to to your your spirit team, your angels, your ancestors. Surrender to them with Caught Their Eyes. You have to use your discernment because someone around you is very cunning. Someone around you has really um, been trying to master, uh, you know, they, they've been trying to manipulate a situation to work in their favor. Uh, they want you perhaps to surrender to them. Maybe in the past you, you would submit your will, you would surrender to their every beck and call. Um, but now it's like with one, I feel like now you're more about yourself. You're, you're taking care of numero uno because whatever that was that you was submitting your will to, surrendering to whomever this person was or individuals were, it's like now you're done with that because remember we had the karmic um the karmic completion and that karmic completion was also uh another another 10 so i'm feeling like now instead of just submitting your will to other people now you're going according to how situations feel in your spirit and you're also you know they say window the eyes are the windows to the soul so maybe you're catching something within someone's eyes maybe their eyes seem dormant i know with me when i look into people's eyes if i don't see if there's no vacancy like you know, then bye bye. I, I can't rock with you because th there's something else going on internally. And so maybe that's something that you've caught within someone is that somebody uh, was saying one thing, um, but their eyes were saying another, their energy was saying another thing. And that is exactly what uh, the devil does. A devil um, is very much a trickster. They're very manipulative and they will say whatever they need to say to get what they want. With caught their eyes, you caught someone's shifty eyes you caught someone you know maybe cutting their eyes at you um maybe they thought that you wasn't going to turn around and catch them but it was like somebody was like you know you know rolling their eyes uh cutting their eyes at you um but there was something very beguiling about someone with this 91 i feel like it's because you're no longer uh falling um, victim to whatever this person's expectations are. So in the past, they could come around and say, hey, yo, I need you to do X, Y, and Z. Now you're not falling for it because you've already caught on to the fact that this isn't somebody that reciprocates. This isn't someone that you have like, you know, that reciprocal dynamic where it's an equal exchange, equal give and take. This is somebody that just comes, makes withdrawals, disappears, comes back for another withdrawal, disappears, come back again, another withdrawal. And it's like, that's the type of energy that leaves you emotionally spiritually and sometimes financially bankrupt so instead of surrendering this time now you're focusing on the self there's some sort of new beginning a new perspective this is you now focusing on the self self-love self-care self-discipline so now you're showing self-respect you're being more integral in your movements and you're surrendering to what spirit is telling you because with that purple that's you tapping into your higher self to that christ consciousness to that god frequency because that purple on the inside of the symbol is speaking to you know your psychic uh, um, powers or your that cerebral um, energy um, and the orange is associated with the sacral chakra so that's all about you know your self-discipline moving to the beat of your own drum so instead of surrendering like I said and submitting your will to other people because there are nothing more than mere mortals same as yourself you are now going and focusing on the self one is you there's just you number one you are number one numero uno you got to take care of you first so you're prioritizing you that one starts with the self so i feel like you're surrendering now to what your higher self is telling you and that is to focus on the self we got another 46 here and this is domestic harmony so i do feel there was some sort of ending to some sort of happy relationship connection um something that was once very harmonious very joyful um it, it's now it there's a demise there was a demise of that we're seeing a lot of tens and remember karmic completion did show up so that karmic completion is absolutely showing that something has met its its uh demise something has run its course 
course, something has come full circle. And when you, you, you have a karmic completion, that means there were many lessons. There were many challenges. There was a lot that you had to learn, but it was all necessary for you to evolve, ascend and grow into your higher self. So I feel like you all have transformed, you've evolved and you've ascended into your higher selves. And that could be a reason why there could be some, uh, very, uh, beguiling energy around you. Um, right now we have John, uh, call Thomas, pardon me. And this is called summer rain. So it is the summertime and the rain is really about, um, it's the element of water and water is very healing. Water also represents, um, emotion, you know, intuition. Um, it also can be very cleansing, very purifying. Uh, it could rejuvenate you. Uh, so many of you somehow, uh, maybe, you know, spirit is telling you that you may need to, um, clean, clear and cleanse. Uh, some of you may need to go, uh, to a body of water and perform a release ceremony. Maybe some of you all have been shedding a lot of tears during the summertime. Uh, maybe there has been some sort of loss, uh, in your family, or maybe there are cheer, tears, of joy, uh, but I do feel tremendous healing. Uh, maybe you all have started to take your power back during this time. Um, this is the strongest you felt. Maybe you're in the best shape that you've ever been in your life. Um, but I do feel like there's also a sense that, you know, maybe a situation that was bringing a lot of drama, which has caused you a lot of pain. Um, now you're kind of releasing it and letting it go because the rain, as I said, could be very purifying, uh, very cleansing. Um, some of you all may need to take spiritual baths um, to get rid of any, you know, residual uh, energetic, um, you know, uh, blocks, blockages, uh, from a karmic, um, and also to just, you know, give yourself a clean slate, start off a fresh and new. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on for my divine masculine, the yang energy may I have a message of love and light spirit. What's coming in for my divine masculine. So summer rain, some of y'all definitely need to, um, you know, take a, uh, take a nice, uh, spiritual bath, you know, if you uh, could get your hands on uh, something like um, hyssop, that's very cleansing. It's even written in the Bible about how how powerful hyssop can be. Um, if you could get your hands on some, um, you know, sea salt, that's also another um, easy, you know, easy, you could easily access that uh, to take a spiritual bath, you know, uh, just to cleanse, just to release, just to purge. Uh, so we got a couple of messages that just flew out bottom of the deck we got individuality and that's the number 11 so a lot of y'all uh were in very codependent relationships and i feel these were codependent because people were dependent upon you it was like you was carrying around a lot of baggage you was carrying around a lot of dead weight um you were very burdened you know overwhelmed um unappreciated undervalued um and i feel like that's why there was a need for you to uh you know to stop allowing people to demand, you know, your time and your energy and to just, you know, focus on yourselves. Because as I said, that 91 breaks down to uh, not just 10, but it breaks down to one and one is about you. You got to take care of numero uno. It's all about, you know, self-preservation first and foremost. You couldn't continue to surrender to other mere mortals, you know, or to submit your will to other people uh, and have these expectations that, you know, the relationship or the connections were going to, you know, go the the distance um but you weren't getting what you wanted you were you were you know dissatisfied in the relationship so i feel like now there's more of you surrendering to your higher self to spirit uh to source um and trusting what spirit is telling you the divine interventions you're getting from that connection that communication um that transmission is what you're more so focused on and so we have oshun solar plexus so that's about the power that's the third chakra your solar plexus is truly the sun that shines with Thin. And remember that sunshine, that illumination, um, you know, everybody loves the sunshine. That song came on by Roy Ears. So I do feel like there was some sort of epiphany or, or some sort of aha moment. But that's also very indicative. The sun is about you standing in your power, owning your power, um, standing in your ground, not backing down, uh, standing up for what you believe in. Um, this is also about a renewal, you know, a new opportunity, new beginnings. Um, this is about the dawning of a new day, seeing things in a whole new light, gaining a new a more uh, deeper and profound understanding of yourselves, uh, of a situation.
situation overall, um, even having somewhat of like an ascended um, perspective or in a more a more evolved uh, perspective. Um, and so we have here on the bottom of the deck, we got uh, not the bottom of the deck, the two cards that flew out. We have 14 moderation. So this energy of the Hierophant always follows you, divine masculines. And that shows me that you all are very spiritually strong and in alignment with your higher self, with your Christ consciousness, with that God frequency. You're tapped in, beloved. And that's why spirit is telling you, like, you know, there's no more surrendering to mere mortals. Mere mortals would be just, you know, everyday people you bumping into because you all are, you know, your masters. Uh, you are master teachers, you are healers, shamans, uh, you all can be light workers, Reiki healers, you could also be readers of tarot cards, you could be musicians, you could be artists, you could be creatives, period. Um, this 14 shows that you've been making the necessary changes. It's, it's one thing to make changes, but you've made necessary changes, and you've done so by tapping in and connecting and, and developing that relationship to your higher self, to your ancestors ancestors, your angels. You've been reading a lot of information, perhaps spiritual doctrines. Maybe you've been researching, looking up, uh, you know, very esoteric information, you know, esoteric or occult information. And it's just kind of opened your mind, activated you in some way. And, you know, maybe some of you all are even just sitting at the feet of the elders in your family, speaking to that grand uncle, that grand aunt, that grandmother, that grandfather, um, you know, even your own mothers and fathers. Uh, I picked up on that in a former reading as well. But I I do feel like tutelage. I'm hearing tutelage. Um, I feel like you all were humbled. Um, you know, you sat uh, and, and, and was receiving information that was very humbling uh, because it allowed for you to assess yourselves while also assessing your circumstances. And I feel like, as I said, with this moderation, this helped you to change for the better. Um, I feel more of an energy of you um, growing emotionally. Um, I feel like a lot of you all have really healed from past pains and traumas. Uh, that green is associated with the heart chakra. Um, and that's also associated with the emperor. Um, you know, because that, that four, I'm picking up on the four and then the one, remember we got the one here, you know, so that one, and then we see that orange on the outside here. So the one is, you know, really about uh, the self again, you know, that one is also the root chakra. So maybe there was some, you know, uh, familial traumas, uh, maybe there was some, you know, love ship connections that, you know, went, just went, took a left, you know, um, and these were things that kind of really, um, you know, kind of inspired you to start your, your healing process or triggered you to, to you know, begin that, that spiritual journey. Um, but the 14 reduces to five and that five, again, like I said, is the Hierophant and the Hierophant is very wise. The Hierophant and the high priestess, they are keepers of ancient wisdom. They are the ones that you go to, to seek wise counsel, um, and also to obtain higher learning. So you would become a student of that master master teacher and that master teacher had to also go through those same steps that you're going through. That's why they don't judge. Um, they're very compassionate um, because they have a deeper understanding because they themselves have had to also grow. So it's almost like you are uh, being ordained or being um, chosen to now step into your role to now be the healers, the teachers, the light workers or um, master teachers for the next to come, the generations. So I do feel like, you know, maybe you all have been discovering what your soul purpose, mission and passions are. As I said, I was picking up on some of you all, like really honing your skills, gifts and talents, um, even discovering that uh, maybe you've discovered you have a newfound passion. I was picking up a lot on composers of music, uh, people who are musicians, um, and they're creating um, in a very dynamic way. So they're revolutionizing a sound, or they're um, just becoming innovatives. There's some sort of innovative um, talent, skill, gift, 
uh, and it's it's really beautiful. So I, I do feel like, you know, fit five is uh, the throat chakra as well. So some of you all are great communicators, orators. Uh, you could be great singers. Uh, you could be artists. You could be musicians. You could be hip hop artists. Um, you could be into fashion. You could be into um, writing, you know, authors, You you anything under the umbrella of creating or, or masterminding something. I feel like that's absolutely what you're doing. Um, and you're not only um, discovering it, but you're mastering it. So you're, you're mastering that craft. So that, that requires focus. I was picking up on that eye of the tiger, um, eyes on the prize type of energy as well. So that's powerful. So we got nine completion. So this is like a double confirmation that you're wrapping up a cycle that you've completed some sort of cycle here. Um, and I do feel like, you know, with this all purple, um, you've been trusting your intuition. Nine is the highest number of chain change and nine is also associated with the uh hermit so a lot of you all have um really taken the time out to hone these skills because you've kind of like went into a space where you were kind of like more introverted and not as extroverted as you may have been in the past so you've utilized that time wisely um while you were um out of sight out of mind you wasn't just sitting around eating Oreos and playing video games with your bellies popping out. Like, I feel like a lot of y'all was, as I said, like mastering your craft, studying, learning. Um, you know, I'm just picking up, I keep hearing the word tutelage, tutelage, tutelage. So you've been, and I feel like you've been learning like under someone. So you've been studying under someone. So if some of you all are, uh, say for instance, you were, um, you know, learning about a particular, uh, um, uh, a particular area of study. It's like you were learning under someone. So it was like you were, you had someone that you could go and speak to, uh, to, to get the fruits of knowledge, if you will. Um, even if you're learning a particular, uh, trade or skill, um, say for instance, you're learning under so another pianist. If you're learning how to play the piano, you're learning under someone who is, um, an instructor, uh, someone who is a composer of music. So it's like, I keep hearing that word tutelage. So this individuality shows me that you're, you've relinquished any type of um, connectivity to people who were dependent upon you and even people you may have been dependent upon. Um, even if it wasn't like dependency in terms of like a financial dependency or, you know, dependency for material items, uh, just emotional dependency. A lot of people, you know, get it tripped up that, you know, codependency is just based upon, you know, money and finances and material items. But, you know, sometimes you could develop those emotional codependent relationships because you're afraid, you know, perhaps to be alone or you're afraid to brave it out on your own. Um, and you have to, you know, have to investigate why that is. So with this individuality, many of you have taken your power back. Look what kind of slipped away is happy ending. So whatever, you know, every ending always denotes a new beginning. And I feel like in your new, um, cycle, you're going to have a very happy, happy ending. There's a happier ending to perhaps how the story began. And right now we have, um, we have Vivian, um, green and the name of this song is called, uh, what is love? So for many of you all, that was the lesson you all had to learn. You didn't know what love was. That's why that one was there because one is about, you know, the root chakra. You got to start off at the root cause of the issue. One is the self. One is life and death. One is associated with scorpionic energy, which represents, you know, death, rebirth, reincarnating. So a lot of you all, you know, you had to uh, get your, your, um, you had to find out uh, what your, uh, what would make you feel sec safe, secure, stable, um, outside of other people, you know, if that makes sense. That's why this individuality is here, because like I said, it isn't just associated with finances, even though that's a part of the security. Um, a lot of you all didn't perhaps feel safe uh, growing up. Maybe you didn't feel um, loved because you got this, what is love? So now there's this question about love and relationships and romance and, and, and family and marriage. And it's like, you're at that age where you see in your friends, perhaps developing and cultivating these closer relationships with the feminine energy and you're questioning like what is love to me and you're discovering now what your love language is because you've already realized like you know 
carrying all the responsibilities on your back or doing everything um, is not an expression of love, uh, not only to those that you are doing it for, but also to yourself. You have to always... Um, you know, prioritize yourself in those scenarios as well. Because if you can't take care of yourself or if you refute, if you, um, if you fail to take care of yourself, then that also, uh, that permeates and vibrates into the ethers. Like you don't need as much, you don't require as much. So people will do the bare minimums because that's what you're communicating to them. Like, Oh, don't worry about it. I got it. I'll handle it. I'll do it. I got this. And, and, and the truth of the matter is you would like for somebody to come around and say, Hey, I got this bill this month. Don't worry about it. Beloved. You know what I'm saying? Maybe sometimes you don't feel like getting out and pumping the gas and your lady, you know, you, maybe you tired, maybe you got a backache, maybe you, your leg is cramping. Who mo who knows? But sometimes you want things to be balanced out where it's not just always, um, expected of you because you're masculine energy. So it's like, that's the surrendering you had to do, not submitting your will, not just giving people the opportunity to demand time and energy from you, but to now say, you know what, um, that doesn't work for me no more. Cause right now where I'm at in my life, I, I, I need a little bit of give and take, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like I need a little bit of that give and take. I can't do it all, you know? And even if you could, who wants to, you know, who wants to? So with this individuality, you had to learn, um, you know, to be independent again, your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security and your overall happiness. Uh, but I, as I said, I feel like this was more so you um, not being codependent on anyone emotionally um, and learning uh, how to be vulnerable, learning how to feel, um, how to um, to express yourselves emotionally. Um, you had to mature uh, emotionally, like your 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 emotional um, your emotional. How do you say that? I'm trying to get the right words. Pardon me. Your emotional intelligence um, had to be. Um, you had to grow emotionally. That's a better way to say it. All right, so let's see what we got coming and going out going on. What's coming? Okay, so we got a message that just flew out. Relationship changes here, so 56. And um, we have the internet singing um, only girl in the world. So there is somebody that y'all may feel is like the one, you know, with only girl in the world playing. And then we have the internet. I feel like some of you all may have uh, found this person. Maybe that's why I was picking up on some nosy person, like looking up your information, because if you all are looking up someone that you feel is the one that got away, uh, perhaps a twin flame, a soulmate, because that 56 reduces to 11. Um, and maybe there was some something that ended prematurely or this is someone from your past. I definitely feel like that could be the reason why I was picking up on somebody nosing around in your business, trying to find out information, reading texts and emails and researching your history and going into your your your, your uh, trash bucket it, looking into your archives, your files, your folder, just researching, nosing around. S typical thing that, you know, um, a very insecure feminine energy would do uh, when they're suspecting there's another woman or when they're suspecting that you're communicating with someone. Um, but I do feel like you are thinking of someone. Um, there is someone that you really um are thinking about uh, heavily um, and you desire to communicate with that person. Uh, but maybe, you know, because you were in a relationship that completed, you know, you just recently completed some sort of cycle because we saw karmic completion. Now this person is heavily on your mind. And so maybe you're trying to figure out how to take action to go towards that person with, um, the name of that group called internet. Maybe as I said, some of y'all could be Google searching that person, like Google in their names or looking for them on social media. Um, maybe some of you all are typing in, you know, the last phone number or maybe their email address to see if anything pops up. Uh, but I do feel like there's some sort of research because you are ready to take action. Maybe in the past, um, you were stuck at a fork in the road because you were still tied, uh, you know, karmically to another person. And now that that relationship has ended, um, you're looking for, you know, you're looking to reconnect, um, with that girl, you know, with, you're the only, the girl, um, only girl in the world. This is the one, uh, I feel that you all is, is, is really feeling that got away, or this is the one that, you know, is your divine feminine, your, uh, yin to your yang. So you, you brothers could be researching something, you know, with re relationship change. This is what's hidden 
um, what's behind the scenes is there's things taking place that too is associated with the high priestess. So I am feeling like, you know, maybe there is, um, you know, that energy nosing around again. Like I said, I keep picking up on that energy of somebody nosing around, shuffling around through your documents. Uh, don't leave anybody in your house unattended. You know what I'm saying? Even if you have, um, like, I mean, unless you got cameras or whatever and you can like catch them red handed, but even still people are cunning. They'll take stuff into the bathroom, hide it in their shirt, back pockets, whatever. Just don't do it. You know, cause with that 56, that high priestess could be just as like, you know, just as, um, you know, because some people know how to use their powers for good and bad. And for this person, I just feel like they think they're smarter than they actually are. With 32 music, you definitely have somebody that you want to communicate with because this 32 is speaking to this song that's playing right now. I was also telling you all, some of you all are musicians. Some of you all are also clairaudient. I feel like a lot of you all are getting messages, downloads, transmissions. You're getting some sort of communication via the music you're listening to. So you may have a favorite song you play. Maybe you've played a song 32 times and maybe somebody's playing a song and they're hearing lyrics that make them think of you. Um, with 32, that being five, that's also... You you know, the throat chakra. So I do feel some of you all are singers or you may be hip hop artists. You could be, you know, poets. Um, you're utilizing your throat chakra to, um, you know, express yourself communic uh, uh, musically, um, artistically. Uh, but I do feel like you want to express something to someone that maybe um, you've been suppressing with only girl in the world. This is the one. You know, if only girl, that's that one, that's that one person. And maybe that's why spirit is saying surrender because you've been trying to fight it. You maybe have been trying to deceive yourselves. Um, this is also self-sabotage because maybe you were trying to make it work with individuals that um, you should have since left a long time ago. And now, you know, you got this nosy uh, karmic that's still trying to straggle on and hold on to you. Um, energetically, you know, if you are still having intimacy and, and, and sex with an ex, you need to stop it, especially if you know that you're no longer interested in that person or you you don't see a future because what you're doing is you are still, um, you know, that that's like a succubus incubus relationship. And that that's going to require a lot of work to part ways with. And maybe that's what they do um, to keep you, you know, kind of like stuck in that state of like confusion because with this 56 two that's almost like being stuck at a fork in the road indecisive um you know trying you know stuck in two minds almost but it's like you got one foot out and one foot in and if you're still being intimate with a succubus energy you could forget it you're gonna be stuck there for a minute because they're gonna keep using that same you know because that's the one trick pony they get the sex and you get lose your mind and and that's a source for them they're they're literally feeding off of you um if this isn't you being that person, but because I'm reading for the divine masculine, I know it's the person you're dealing with. Um, so just, you know, say no, say no to, to, you know, that that's like a trap. You ever saw like the Venus, um, fly trap plant. That's literally what, you know, a succubus, you know, feminine energy, they will you know, like, you'll be trapped forever, ever. You know what I'm saying? You'll be trapped in the abyss of confusion and, and delusion. So, you know, with this 32, I feel like there's communication, um, that you may need to muster up your strength and courage because with this, you know, orange all around, I feel like this is saying like some of you all need to express yourselves, um, you know, stand in your power, you know, assert yourselves, you know, uh, and that yellow inside of that symbol is telling me that, you know, cause it could provide clarity, you know, you'd be amazed. It could even, you know, provide some sort of happiness and joy. Um, so let's see, why is, what is the, um, outcome for our divine masculine? Let me have a message of love and light. What is that? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we got music again. So that's still there. So what's the song playing now? So we got God lives through. So God lives through you. All right. Know that whatever you need assistance with, whatever you need, um, even if there's things that are not clear to you, um, always call upon, you know, your your God, call upon your angels, your spirit team, your ancestors, whomever your spiritual parents are. Ask for assistance because you do have guardians that are protecting you spiritually. You have guardians that are watching over you. And even if someone is trying to use manipulation, conniving, even if they're trying to use some sort of spell work, 
hoodoo voodoo juju santeria black magic ritual work whatever they're doing it's like if you calling upon your angels and your guides they're going to protect you and they will give you those nudges those little downloads little interventions to tap into your intuition because as i said earlier i was picking up on people who were uh very manipulative very deceptive very envious jealous um and also very calculating and cunning and if you are just aloof and you're just all trusting then you could you could miss you could miss that those, those very uh uh, fine details you can miss the, the 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 download spirit is trying to give you um that cautionary download so just be mindful um trust your own dis, you know intuition and use your own discernment don't let anybody convince you to do something and don't put others before you put yourself remember self-preservation you know so like I said, even if, say, for instance, someone is invited to your home, you invite someone over and you leave your phone on the table and everything in your gut is telling you take your phone with you. But because you don't want to appear like somebody who is super protective over the phone and you don't want nobody to assume certain things, man, take that phone with you. Take it on. Take take it. Take it with you. All right. So. All right. So we have right here teaching and learning number 57. So you've been learning valuable lessons um throughout this process i feel like with that 57 12 3 that is you learning from the pain and the hurt um you learning from some sort of sudden loss maybe the demise of a relationship or demise of certain friendships connections um love ships that you may have had um it was like a painful loss it was a sudden upheaval there were things that just transpired unexpectedly and unbeknownst to you 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 discovered certain people um weren't who you thought they were you realized people were opportunists you realized you were dealing with a lot of parasites a lot of people who were like energy vampires succubus energy incubus energy but this you've learned nonetheless and as i was chiming in on earlier with that uh moderations which was 14 number five this card here uh five is associated with the hierophant so maybe this is what encouraged you all to to start doing some sort of spiritual work to start healing yourselves to start investigating um deeper you know about yourself and you know so it's almost like that pain it you're now turning it into power um and now you're more uh mindful to plan um what you're going to do or you're more um you're more mindful to uh prepare to use logic uh to you know to just be more um to, to focus more on what's happening, uh, looking at things from a bird's eye view opposed to just what's right there in front of you. Uh, so this also is speaking to um, a divine feminine that you are attracting. Three is also associated with that uh, that empress energy. And you all are the emperors, you know. Uh, so there is a divine feminine that is also um on the same journey and we see that because you have 66 healing so not only have you been healing yourself thyself you have a divine feminine that has been healing herself um six six whenever i see double numbers y'all know uh if you've been here before that i always feel that that is you and your divine feminine or the yin, the yin to your yang, uh, your divine counterpart, your cosmic companion, your twin flame, your soulmate, your kindred spirit. That is you all mirroring one another energetically. So whatever it is uh, that you've been doing to heal thyself uh, so that you could learn to love yourselves. Uh, so that you now know thyself that's what your divine feminine has been doing because there is a sense that you all are both you know in this very studious energy um, learning not just skills gifts and talents but also learning more about yourself this is self-discovery um, self-analysis even um, doing introspective work reflective work and we got 56 and 57 back to back and so this is showing me you know so there was a relationship change which triggered you know, this this desire to learn more, to heal, to grow, you know, because 56, you know, like I said, that's 11. So this is, you know, a twin because 11 is associated with the twin um, flame journey. And with 57, as I said, that's reduces to 12. So that's like a feminine energy, the empress, the divine feminine, I should say. And so we have Alicia Keys and the name of the song is called The Life. So this is the life that you all um, 
were ordained to live, whatever these experiences were that you've endured, that you've had to go through. This was a part of your life. This was a part of your destiny. Um, this was preordained. It was written in the stars. There was no way to avoid this. Um, and that's why you have this teaching and learning because I feel a lot of you all um, didn't just go through the heartache and pain and turn bitter or turn into some angry, uh, you know, uh, womanizer. I feel like a lot of y'all uh, chose the the complete opposite response, which was, let me work on me. Let me heal myself. And that's a very mature and very manly thing to do. Uh, that's why I was saying like a lot of you all emotionally, you, you grew uh, because that's emotional intelligence to know like it isn't always about the other person. It's about me. Um, let me do me because you can only change you. You can't change that other person. So let me see what I could do to make myself better. Let me see what I could do to, um, you know, to step it up in terms of my own um my own um, understanding and I feel like you all have been doing it and and it's very evident because you have the 6-6 healing and you know as I always say you know uh, love is an inside job uh, and when you are at one that's you going to the root cause and the root cause of any situation is always you it's your journey it's your uh familial background what you've endured during childhood many of you had to heal your inner child some of you were abandoned someone you weren't raised with your fathers or maybe even a mother uh but i feel like the life is saying this is a part of your life story this is a part of the journey that you've had but now you are in a space where you're healing um, and many of you have healed and that 12 breaks down to three. So, you know, with this energy, I do feel like there is some sort of reunion because I'm getting with 66 healing. I feel like you and your divine feminine coming into union is going to be very healing uh, for yourselves, but also for the collective, because whenever you have a divine feminine and masculine come into union, it heals the collective. It permeates and vibrates into the ethers, into the stratosphere, the atmosphere, and everyone is affected in a positive light. So this is a very beautiful, um, very beautiful outcome. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. We're going to pull some messages for our beautiful divine masculine energy. And look at this. I want to show you something. So I pulled the cards out, right? This card was stuck, right, in, in the box. And I had to shake it to release it. Look at this. You see that energy, that number five? See this moderation? Somebody doesn't want you to make the changes. That's why they're trying to hold on to you. This is somebody you're trying to complete that cycle with. Because for completion to be here, you know, it's like, you know, somebody was still trying to hold on to you. This is that energy of somebody that is codependent, somebody that was wearing a mask. You know, maybe you've discovered you were wearing a mask, you know, in this lifetime, you was like really walking around with a mask on your face and hiding how you truly felt, suppressing your emotions, not really expressing yourselves. You know, this is what people do when they're trying to appease and please, you know, and, and this right here is showing that there was some sort of attachment. You were bound and stuck, you know, you're chained, you know, and this grayed out, this is like, you know, this is really very indicative of where you were, but this is the changes you made, healing yourself. Now you see the vibrancy, the color is restored, you know, and that's because this was a spiritual, um, this was some sort of spiritual awakening. And this is the card that was like stuck in the box. So you do have somebody that's trying to keep you stuck and stagnant. They're trying to anchor you to them, chain you to them. And that's why you have to be very mindful. That's why spiritual baths was coming up with summer um, rain. I feel like some of you all, maybe even if it's like, if it's raining, I don't know if you all are very um, hip to some of the ways in which you can um, utilize your your magic. But, um, you know, some of you all, if you have like thunderstorms, some of you all can like... Um, you know, collect some of that moon water, some of that rain water from the thunderstorm and incorporate it like in your baths to to cleanse yourselves along with the sea salt, along with the hyssop. If you have, you know what I'm talking about? Like there's ways that you could do that. You could even in, include like a couple of capfuls of like olive oil. That's very cleansing and healing as well. And speak some some, um, you know, you could speak Psalm 23, Psalm 91. Um, there's several Psalms you could use or speak any of your intentions period 
into the water you know you speak your intentions you could light a candle and you just sit in that body of water and you speak whatever it is you're trying to do whether clearing yourself cleansing yourself but this is what someone is trying to do someone is really um trying to bind you and keep you stuck and what did i say about y'all having some sort of blessings carnucopia is literally the spirit universe source the divine blessing you with some sort of reward bliss this is like carnucopia is like a harvest you know all of your needs and wants and desires material you know spiritual uh prosperity this is it's yours and we have buster rhymes and janet jackson what's it gonna be so there's definitely you know an answer that you you need to make a decision uh because i do feel like there's indecision you know i was picking up on you all being kind of like confused maybe you know you you haven't uh completely let go of some sort of karmic or an ex um, and that's why this completion is here because it's time to complete that cycle. I'm hearing wrap it up. <laughs> you know how I'll be like, yo, it's time to wrap it up. I'm hearing that very loud in my mind. I'm hearing myself saying wrap it up because some of y'all haven't wrapped it up. Some of y'all haven't released that X. And that's why some of y'all are still trapped, trapped and bound. Don't let somebody come around and throw booty at you and you get you get all beside yourself and you forget the whole point of the, this. This is about your freedom. This is about you living your truth, you know. So don't let nobody come around and see, look at that. I can't make this up. It says walking away. So you got to walk away from someone because they're trying to keep you stuck. And that's the same nine. See that? You need to walk away from that feminine. You need to just muster up the strength and courage, you know, stop being dependent on someone emotionally or sexually, whatever that is, you're codependent on them and they know it. And that's why they come around and use that as a tactic, as a means. Some of them can be doing some sort of juju, voodoo, hoodoo on your ass, and y'all don't know it. They could be feeding y'all asses witches brew. They could be putting stuff, stuffing things into your couches, putting freezer spells and doing all kind of honey jars. And that's why you got to cleanse yourself. That's why you have to call on your angels and gods to reveal your enemies, to reveal to you what you need to do to free yourselves. But this is telling you it's time to walk away, beloveds. Completion, nine and nine. It's time to wrap it up. I was hearing wrap it up. See that? That gate. It's time to walk through the gate. Somebody's trying to keep you stuck, anchored. You know, whatever isn't growing is dead. If all you got in relation, all you got in common with a person is the sex, you don't have a relationship. You got a sex ship. You just got some, you know, some sort of arrangement. You might as well go out and go get a hooker on the street because that's literally what you're doing. Like that, that's the succubus energy. They're using sex to entice and to control. And spirit is trying to bliss you. There's rewards here. This person is blocking you from what you are due. These are the blessings that you are due. And when you are dealing with that old karmic, toxic, uh, type of energy these blessings these rewards can't come in until you clear the path you know till you complete the cycle you know what i'm talking about so what's it going to be janet jackson and buster rhymes is saying what's it going to be see that there's a storm warning here if you don't wrap it up this is what you're going to get caught up in you're going to get sucked up into the rapture yet again and that could be very much you having to go through the same karmic cycle all over again you know, karmic cycles are to be completed, not repeated. Ashe. So what's coming and going out going on for my divine masculines? May I have a message of love and light spirit? So we got communi community that wants to come out. See that? Didn't I tell y'all y'all needed to surrender to your higher selves? Seven is the crown chakra. Seven is also, as I said, the chariot. And remember, I chimed on that in the beginning. The community is really about your angels, your ancestors, your spirit team. As I said, you need to surrender to your spirit team, that God frequency, opposed to mere mortals. When you submit your will to regular, regular, degular people, then they're going to, um, they're going to exploit you they're going to exploit whatever they can to get what they want your angels and ancestors are sending you signs synchronicities downloads divine interventions transmissions these are messages so you got to be tapped into your god frequency you have to be already functioning from a space where you are strong where you're healed where you're emerging as someone who knows that you got to prioritize your needs wants and desires first and foremost before you're submitting and giving everything to everybody else because a divine masculine just like a divine feminine knows that um you know you got to know your own worth and value and so your angels are here reminding you, you know, surrender to them. When you surrender to them, that means you're obedient. That means you're trusting. And remember, God lives played by, uh, you know, um, a tribe called Quest. So it's like you're on this spiritual journey, but you have to also represent and realize that 
you are God, you know, you are made in God's image. So that means you are God and you know, you have to see the God in yourselves as well. So that means you got to also, you know, vibrate in, on the frequency, like where you are tapped into that, that Christ consciousness, you know, you got to use your intuition. The seven is the crown chakra. So you have to be tuned in. You got to be on the frequency. You got to be on the right channel. You know, when you listen to the nuts and you're not tapping in and listening to your own Christ consciousness, your own intuition, you could get caught up in situations that will have you repeat in cycles all over again, you know. And so we have on the bottom of the deck, happy family. And this is the number four. So this is what a lot of you all you're making changes so that you can achieve this so that you can acquire that. You want that happy house, happy spouse, that happily ever after somebody you could build with, grow with. This is what the divine masculine provides. This is what you produce. This is a part of the legacy that you leave. You know what I'm saying? So you want someone that you could build with. That's why you've made the changes within yourself so that you could attract that. And if you have somebody that is sitting around, you know, like I said, whatever isn't growing is dead. So if you got somebody that's a karmic or somebody that you was dealing with and you don't have this yet, remember domestic harmony showed up, but it was a number 10. That means all of the happiness and peace was sucked out of that relationship because it was one sided and you were overworked like you was you was not being appreciated and valued when you are in a very um, um, balanced union, uh, when there's like equal give and take both parties um, are being nurtured, you know, they're being nurtured, they feel fulfilled, because they don't feel like they got to pick up somebody else's slack and vice versa. This right here is a happy family, because there is a partnership, there is a union, there is this this sense of uh, feeling grounded, feeling uh, very protected, and even happy and overjoyed, even the children are very happy and balanced here. So these are the moderations and changes that you've made, so that you can acquire this because this is really in the back of your mind this is what you desire I was picking up on some of you masculines who really were thinking about your future thinking about a wife thinking about children because maybe you don't have them all you know yet and so you're like dang you know and that's why you know love was the inside job that's why the work that you did was required because you know you can't walk around jaded and angry and bitter and and scorned all your life because you're going to just attract other people other like minds you know if you carry around baggage as I said before you're going to attract somebody and meet somebody that has matching luggage and that's unhealthy and so we have um Ari Lennox and this is called Shea Butter all right so Shea Butter so I'm I, I'm Shea Butter baby so yeah Shea Butter you know the, I just feel like you know I'm the baby reference you know, you just had to grow emotionally because that was the changes I feel like you all made. You know, the moderation was, you know, you healing that inner child, you know, you having to heal that inner child with that baby. You know, some of you all desire to have a baby. Maybe, you know, you all want a child. You know, I was just speaking about having a family. We just saw a happy family. So maybe you all already have a child and you maybe thought that you would marry, you know, your children's mother. And it just turned out to be... Um, a disaster with that person, you know, and maybe you are trying to play nice because you may have a child with this person and you don't want to push buttons. It's almost like walking on eggshells, but you've make, you've made changes for the better. You've made some changes for the better and it's acknowledged. So a couple of cards just flew out. So we have angel. Look at that. We got the angel of love. See that you've healed yourselves. Whatever the pain was that you've endured, it's like you did the work. This angel you have you have a lot of um you know spiritual protection you have a lot of angels that were setting you straight helping you to heal through these things they even guided you to make these changes this 49 represents your energy that reduces to 13 which is 4 so this shows that this is your energy you've done the work you know the divine masculine is represented by the number 4 the emperor and even this four and this five from 14, that's five and this four, that's nine. So that's, again, just chiming on the changes. Nine is the highest number of change. A lot of you were able to make this change because you isolated yourself. You kind of went into your, you know, that hermit mode uh, because you already knew the answers you were seeking were found within. And that also brought you back into a space where um, you could discover what love meant to you. What was, you know, how do you define love? Let me get a sip. My mouth is cotton dry. Pardon me, y'all. I know that sounds annoying on the 
according. And then we have the angel of balance. Can't make this up. So this is what was being restored. The angel of balance is bringing you back into equilibrium because whatever you was dealing with already, you know, it had you out of whack. And that's why I was saying, like, you got to get rid of things that, you know, interrupt your peace. You know, somebody coming around and, you know, they, they bring your whole mood down or they just shift the energy in a negative light and a negative way. You got to release that. Whatever isn't growing is dead. You know, when you are with your divine feminine, you, you, you're supposed to feel like balanced. You're supposed to feel grounded. You're supposed to feel that energy of radiance and love and, you know, chemistry and synergy and passion, and, you know. But when you around somebody and they just coming around just wanting the D and it's like, how do you really feel when somebody just coming around like wanting the D or wanting to give you the P? That that's not no exchange of energy. That's just that's it's like it's um just an act. That's why I said you could literally just go pull up and get abroad off the street for that. Because there's no emotional connection. There's no nothing. You're not being stimulated anywhere else other than your Johnson. You know. So this angel of balance with completion. This is what the angels are telling you. It's time to wrap it up. I was hearing wrap it up because this is going to restore the balance within yourself. And that 48 reduces to 12. And remember, we got teaching and learning 12 here. So 12 is number three. So that's three is dealing with the empress. You got to find balance. This empress is going to make you feel uh, this this sense of, you know, connectivity. You know, that that's who you need to heal for. That's why you need to be balanced so that you could come into the union that you are, you know, ordained to come into. It's destined for you to be with your divine masculine, I mean, your divine feminine, pardon me, um, and not some, some, some succubus, incubus energy, you know, not some, some, um, what do you call them? There's a word for those, uh, feminines, I can't, it, it escapes me right now, but you know what I mean? And so we have a tweet and the name of the song is called My Place. See that? <laughs> oh, my God. The energy that I'm picking up. So, okay. So this is the person that invites you over to their place because as I was picking up, this person, you know, when you are in someone else's domain, it's almost like you're under their control. You're in, you know, they have the power. Um, and so they may invite you late nights uh, over to their place and they may offer you wine and, and food. And, and that's why I was saying, like, I'm just picking up on somebody who's just uh, trying to be controlling, like they're, they're enticing you, uh, but they're controlling you sexually. And some of you all are falling for that or have fallen for that in the past. And, you know, with this relationship change 56, uh, they could also be, you know, conjuring up some sort of spells or doing some sort of love spells or binding spells because that 56 reduces to 11 which is reduces to two and that two is telling me that that's that energy of um you know the uh high priestess and i was picking up on how the high priestess she could use her powers for good or bad you know and with this relationship change this is somebody that does not want to let you go this is also somebody that is very dependent on you with woman holding a coin you know this could have been a wife they don't want you to leave them and go towards somebody else who is code, you know, who is independent. You know, somebody is trying to hold on to you because maybe, like I said, you are the breadwinner. You're the one that was taking care of the responsibilities. And who wants to let go of somebody who's doing all of that? Because then that means they're going to have to, you know, they're going to have to pick up the slack now. But with this relationship change, that 56 is also um, that reduces to 11 and the 11 is justice. And so I do feel like, you know, for many of you all, um, there was some karmic, you know, and, and that's why this relationship had to change because you all were dealing with a karmic that was, um, dang, my phone just fell. Good Lord. You know, you were dealing with a karmic who was, you know, resorting now to doing whatever they can to keep you stuck with them because that attachment card, you know, keeps, you know, popping up in my mind's eye, how it was just stuck in the box. It wouldn't fall out. So it was like, this is somebody that's just trying to hold on to you, you know, trying to anchor you to them because they don't want you to come into a union. Maybe you all already, like I said, have somebody in particular in mind. Cause remember that one, um, only 
only girl in the world was uh, playing. And there could be some distance, you know, with this 42 woman holding a coin, you know, uh, maybe somebody feels threatened because this feminine that you all are coming into union with could very well, you know, have her ish together. And somebody is definitely looking at uh, the situation like, you know, someone is a threat to them. Someone feels threatened by another person. And we have um, Sir, and this is uh, all in my head. And so Sir is, you know, like a masculine reference, you know, when you're referencing a masculine and all in my head. So this person is trying to have you all in your head. Didn't I say this 56? That too is like having you all confused, you know, and stuck in two minds, like indecisive. Should I, you know, stay? Should I go? And remember spirit was like, wrap it up. <laughs> and then we sort of walk in, you know, a walking away card. So it's like this person is only trying to confuse you, trying to dupe you. You know, they don't have anything to offer. Whoever it is that you kind of lost contact with, whomever is at a distance from you, that six represents, you know, the lovers. It's also I'm getting the six of cups. You know, I'm, I'm getting somebody that is on your frequency and vibration. You know, this is somebody that you feel really ground you somebody. But I also get a sense that somebody's trying to hold on to you uh, for money. You know, and this is somebody that definitely um, is trying to just play games because with all in my head, they could be like mind ucking you, gaslighting you, just being very emotionally manipulative. Like you're going to really leave us all these years we've been together. You know, I love you. We have a son together. We have a family. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, they're not doing nothing to keep you, you know, to 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 uh, encourage you to stay. It's just the same thing day in, day out not wanting to pick up they slack, not wanting to do anything. They have no goals. They have no, you know, there's just nothing. It's, it's just sex. You know, like I said, it's just sex. Sex isn't enough. Not anymore. You know, you, you could probably do it better yourself anyway. But um, this is that person trying to, you know, trying to really manipulate you emotionally. That's what, that's what I'm picking up on, you know, is somebody trying to really manipulate you. And I feel like, you know, I was picking up justice. So this is a karmic. Um, and this is somebody who's, you know, like an ex-wife, fiance, whomever. Um, and they're trying to keep you from someone that you truly desire, you know. So we have this magician in the mirror. So we already know you all are manifestors because we did see that manifestation eight card. So you are master manifestors. And this is the number 53. So whatever it is that you all are doing. Um, I feel like that's how you've learned because you've started to uh, implement whatever lessons you've learned through your uh, experiences. You've started to learn how to co-create. You started to learn how to master manifest. Give me one moment. I'm sorry. Pardon me. So we have this um, magician in the mirror. So this is definitely showing how, like I said in the beginning, you know, uh, with that manifestation card, you've already learned how to co-create with source. So you know how to utilize all of the elements around you. And this was, you know, definitely taught to you through your experiences, um, turning pain into power, uh, becoming the conduit of change, uh, learning how to channel the energy through you. Um, and through you learning, uh, these tools, these methods, um, it has made you a master teacher. And I also feel like you 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 drew some sort of awareness, like you became very aware of of your power. You became very aware of your ability. And now you're in the space where you're owning it. Uh, so you could be manifesting uh, this divine feminine to come in uh, someone that's on your frequency, because I feel like you have moved away. Um, you chose to. Uh, to to leave that situation because that 42 six is telling me like you know there is a sense that you are now um, moving on you know because that six is giving me like the six of swords type of energy even though this is six of pentacles I just get a sense of you like you realizing like you have to move on uh, from a circumstance or a situation that is not um, serving your highest good or that you're not getting what you want out of it because you feel there's some trickery or there's some confusion or some sort of, um, you know, just like uh, even like uh, the five of swords is like my way. You know, they want to win by all costs, any cost. They will, you know, use deception. They'll use trickery. They'll be deceptive. They'll do whatever uh, to get what they want. And they'll try to win at any cost and I feel like you're moving away from that because it's still a very low vibrational energy you're not willing to submit your will to that uh, energy anymore um 
and we have um, flowetry and this is called closer so I feel like whatever you've been manifesting uh, you're becoming this is the second time closer has come out in the reading last time uh, the feminine energy had the um, song closer by Goopoli. this time you have flowetry singing closer so I feel like uh, because you've you know you've gone with the flow of things um, naturally you you didn't fight it you didn't go against the current it's like now there's this sense of something uh, manifesting someone returning because that 57 is three so it could be like a three of cups where there's a reuniting of uh, souls or some sort of um, ability to reconcile or resurrect a relationship and this is someone you're manifesting because you feel this is the only girl in the world the one that got away and uh, absolutely your twin um, that 57 reduces to 12, which is three. That's the Empress energy. And you do have love and you do see that this person has changed, evolved, grown as much as you have as well. Uh, so there's been some maturation on their part um, and they're very wise. So why is this 57 teaching and learning? So there's a card that flew. Look at that healer of the ages. So this is showing that you and your person are absolutely um I feel there's a sense that the both of you are initiates. This is like a spiritual partnership. I do feel again that you all have manifested this person as well to come towards you with healer of the ages. That number six is dealt with uh, associated with the lovers. The six is also the first eye. So there is a sense that you are trusting what your intuition uh, is telling you. Uh, you know, this is you. Uh, really feeling, um, you know, that the person that is meant for you, uh, is coming in. You're picking up on them energetically. There could be communication telepathically. You could be visiting them in your dreams or, uh, in their dreams or vice versa, lucid dreaming. Um, there's a lot of tele telepathy or intuitive messages going back and forth. Um, and I do feel that this could lead to some sort of spiritual partnership. This is a very deep, connection um i do also feel like your angels and ancestors are bringing you into alignment into union because the six is again like i said the lovers and if you uh think of the traditional card um of the lovers in traditional tarot there is an angel overseeing the union between that masculine and feminine energy and if you look here this looks like you know an angel or that um, Jesus, you know, that that energy of a Jesus, uh, you know, so this is a very beautiful uh, confirmation that you are coming into a beautiful connection. And as I said, when you heal thyself and your divine feminine heals themselves, then you can heal the collective. This is saying healer of the ages. So you all have become healers because you've not only healed yourselves, but you healed this connection. This connection was always ordained and destined to come back into fruition. Uh, and that karmic lesson um, was necessary for you to learn. See that? We got walking away. See that? On the bottom of the deck. So as you walk away from someone, Regardless of how painful, how hurtful, you know, even if someone walked away from you, this is what is uh, going to bring forth some sort of reunion with your divine feminine, with your cosmic companion. And we have Salon singing cranes in the sky. So cranes are birds. Birds are, um, you know, beautiful animal totems which deliver messages uh, from spirit, you know, from the angels. Uh, so this is also about looking at things from a bird's eye view, uh, using your logic, using your intuition and trusting. Um, and I do feel like this is also telling you, like, you know, walk away from what no longer serves you because something is completely over. When you get to the 27, like I said, that's the highest number of change. And the best way to change your circumstance um, is by, you know, just simply walking away from it because there is, you know, some things are uh, meant for a reason or a season. And I feel like the season is up, you know, it's time for something new. It's time for you to focus on yourselves. So why is uh, six healing here for my divine masculines? They have a message of love and light spirit. We're going to get a couple of messages for the here, and then we're going to wrap it up and look at that Archangel Mikael. So say a prayer to Archangel Mikael. This could be some of you all spiritual babas, your fathers. Some of you all could be working with Archangel Mikael. Some of you could be doing that nine week Archangel Mikael every Tuesday. That's a very powerful way to, um, you know, just call upon this beautiful, powerful angel. 
this this ascended master, this archangel to just assist you with whatever it is uh, that you may have going on. But Archangel Mikael is a very powerful angel. And I feel he's had a lot to do with protecting you from any spiritual attacks, psychic attacks, or anyone who could have been doing things to cause, um, you know, some sort of ailments. There's people that that evil that will try to uh, just send some malicious energy your way or try to affect your health or try to hurt you or harm you or, you know, uh, take a job away, take a love away. Like people are hateful and, and, and they will do anything. And I feel like a lot of you are, as I said, you have this powerful archangel. So say a, a prayer, call upon archangel to protect you, to guide you, and also to reveal who your hidden enemies are, you know, pre reveal that to you. And we see this in, see that somebody's trying to cause you to be confused. And with cranes in the sky, you have to use your intuition, but more importantly, you have to look at things more logically, you know, get out of your emotions because somebody is trying to, uh, as I said earlier, emotionally manipulate you, you know, and so we have two cards. So see journey. So this is what's going to bring about that healing, because when you could get away from that, that karmic, that's got their freaking claws in you, um, you're going to feel so free. You know, you see how she's just free as a bird she got all this luggage baggage this is about packing up and moving away walking away from what no longer serves you you know and seeing you know things crystal clear having that clarity see that take action it's time to go now your your wish fulfillment is also coming in that 17 reduces to eight so i do feel like there is infinite possibilities out here you know, the eight sideways is the infinity symbol. So I do feel like there's infinite possibilities. But when you limit yourself, you stunt your own self. You stunt yourself. Somebody's also could perhaps trying to keep you stuck, as I said, trying to make you feel confused so that you don't take action, so that you don't go out and be free. You got to free your dome. Free dome. Free dome, beloved. And the 17 and 2 reduces to 10. So it's time to end end that karmic cycle finally complete it walk away so that you can have a beautiful brand new beginning archangel mikael is here to assure that you know he's assisting you to cut you to cut you free from anyone that you may be bound to you know to cut you free from any uh you know karmic cords any yokes hexes spells generational curses it's time to free yourselves it's time for you to go on and, and make the decision, choose where you want to go, which is to be free. It's time to take action. Whatever that indecisiveness was, it's like now you need to look at things, um, you know, more logically. And so we have Anita Baker Angel. This is the second time this song played. I believe it played in the Scorpio reading or the Divine Feminine reading. And so you all, as I said, you have powerful angels, ancestors that are watching over you, guarding you, protecting you. Some of you all, this song reminds me of my Baba Yaya, my daddy. So I love you, daddy. Um, so some of you all may have lost loved ones. You may have uh, ancestors that watch over you, protect you. They also giving you, you know, nudges, you know, maybe you're having a lot of synchronicities, downloads, like I said, lucid dreams maybe they're visiting you in your dreams maybe they're sending you certain animal totems you know there's just certain uh you know divine interventions that you may be having to let you know like okay this is the right thing to do you know and if you look up in the sky there's like a bird way up there so this is about you you know using your own intuition and discernment so that you can take action and not be afraid you know fear is false expectations appearing real so you can't be afraid you know there's nothing to fear but fear itself, to be honest with you. So let me get a couple more messages, and then we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> so we got at the bottom of the deck. What do we have? We got the Nine of Cups. See that? So there's a wish fulfillment here. Your angels, your ancestors are blessing you with a wish fulfillment. And it's because you are, you know, focusing on the self. This is a me, myself, and I energy. You know, you've already walked away. So this is showing after you walk away and start this new journey and start to, you know, uh, set intention on what it is you want. There's this feeling of, you know, emotional fulfillment, contentment within the self. And as you feel that contentment that radiates, permeates and vibrates into the ethers. And now spirit can bring forth that divine feminine because you've healed thyself. You're a healer of the ages because you've had to heal yourself. You've been ordained and assigned, as I was saying. The angel of love. You've restored the love within the self. Wow, that's powerful. Look at that. That's amazing. So let's see what we have coming and going out, going on. 
for my powerful beautiful all right these cards look to be all in disarray so let me go ahead and correct this I'm gonna do this off camera so y'all don't have to watch hold on one moment all right thank you all for your patience all right got my cards in order so let's see what we got so we got the five of wands along with that nine of cups on the bottom of the deck. So the five of wands, that's that energy, you know, of uh, confusion, people who are very competitive. This could even be like the dun -dun -dun you know, uh, people trying to, you know, be um, just bringing chaos. You know, remember I was picking up like, you know, some very fishy energy, you know, something just like. You know, that you can't get, get your finger, you know, put your finger on it, but you could just sense that something's not right. And so, you know, just could be, you have to be mindful. That's a lot of competitive energy and the page of wands. So that could be some news coming in as well. And we have um, soul for real and it's called every little thing I do. So somebody is really like just, you know. Focus on every little thing you do. Maybe they're investigating every little thing you do. I was picking up on somebody who was, you know, like installing like um, I spy, you know, type of uh, software on someone's computer or someone's phone. Um, and I do see you mustering up the strength, courage to walk away from something that no, no longer serves you. As you can see here, there's eight cups that you invested and you feel very emotionally uh, as well as um, perhaps even financially um, bankrupt, you know, and, and, and self-love is the best love and to walk away from someone that's not uh, giving back to you in the way that you're giving to them. That's a very, uh, very strong and powerful statement. Uh, you know, they didn't appreciate the things you did, you know, with every little thing I do, you're on my mind. So, you know, there is a sense that somebody is just like really... Um, you know, super obsessed, you know, maybe there's some someone obsessed over you or maybe, you know, you're uh, thinking of someone from your past. Every little thing I do, you're on my mind. So maybe there's music you could be playing and it's making you think of someone in particular, that only girl in the world, somebody that's at a distance. So we have on the bottom of the deck, the higher fence. See that? So your spirit was telling you to focus on your spiritual growth on, you know, really strengthening yourself spiritually, really tapping into your um, Christ consciousness, your higher self, uh, into that God frequency, trusting your intuition. That's what spirit was telling you to do. You know, this five, remember I was picking up on the Hierophant, uh, and there goes the Hierophant. So your angels and ancestors, your guardians, were there to assist you, you know, there to assist you with everything that you did. Um, and I feel like because you were trusting and because you listened uh, to that higher self, you was uh, very obedient, I should say. I feel like that's why now there's this new beginning. That's why you're on, you know, the precipice of some sort of brand new start. Didn't I say y'all were the magician because you had that, that, uh, manifestation uh you also had uh man and the magician or the magician and the mirror uh also show up with the energy oracle deck so this is your energy as above so below so you've changed and evolved and learned to love that self you know you've learned to utilize all of the elements around you and you also know how to channel that energy how to set your intentions how to manifest perhaps new love you know with this angel of love you could have worked with this angel to learn how to manifest new love into your life so why is this 14 um, an angel of love here, the angel of love and this 14 moderation for the divine masculine? And we got most of the panties. See that? Didn't I tell y'all stop worrying about the panties and focus more on the love, the heart chakra? So that's what y'all started to do. Those were the changes y'all had to make because a lot of y'all could have been just like really like, you know, in an energy where you were just trying to knock everything down. You know, and taking numbers, you know, I'm even seeing some of you fellas. I don't know if this is something y'all are doing currently or if something you may have done when y'all was younger, but you were collecting panties like in boxes, you know, and then showing them to your friends like, yo, this is Tamika's panties and this is to me, uh, Shantae or this is Tammy's like like I see some of y'all thinking like that was like, you know, y'all was getting like major props from your homeboys like, oh, snap, work, you know, so I'm I'm because we got the panties playing. So I'm picking up on that energy of y'all like that. The panties was like some sort of souvenir um, that you would have from the feminine energy uh, that you knocked down, you know, so some of y'all could have been saving that and spirit was 
really trying to work with you to change, um, you know, your perspective on uh, intimacy, you know, um, and also, you know, emotional uh, intelligence, helping you all to become more emotionally intelligent. It isn't just about the act of sex. Um, it isn't just about knocking them down and getting the panties literally and figuratively. It was about also, you know, love. So the, the, this angel of love opened up your heart chakra um, and maybe someone that you opened up your heart to uh, may have taught you what it may have felt like to be treated, um, you know, like, uh, you know, just treated like an object, you know, and not like someone with a heartbeat, you know, someone who has feelings. So we see this nine wounded warrior. So you established, you know, some boundaries with some folks because you realized like um, something was very one sided. You gave I feel like with this energy here, um, as I said, like this is one wand away from like carrying all the burdens. You know, that ten of wands is depicted with, you know, that masculine, like literally going up a hill, carrying a gazillion wands on his back. That's the that's the 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 weight of the world on one person's shoulder. Um as I said, when you don't uh, delegate and ask for what you need, regardless of whether um, you're in a relationship with a feminine energy, um, you're going to be exploited. You're going to feel used, you know. And so here, this is like that wounded warrior uh, where you were kind of like, you know, taken for granted, uh, feeling devalued. And so you had to learn to love yourself. That was the change, you know, was to love yourselves and to not um, allow somebody to just repay you with sex. Um, you know, you're paying all the bills, uh, you, you know, you're providing, um, you're doing all the responsibilities, you know, getting the car service, pumping the gas, like whatever, buying the groceries, taking care of the children. You was even doing like some of their duties, uh, some of the domestic duties, cooking when you come home from work uh because she out getting her hair done or and it's just like this is what you felt like like overwhelmed this is one step from being like okay I'm done and I feel like you know maybe you were being repaid by just sex and as I said like you know you, at some point you start feeling like um the prostitute you know you start feeling like the damn you know, the, the <laughs> like you being prostituted and exploited so I feel like you know you had to connect with with um your emotions, you had to learn to, you had to reevaluate, you know, what your love language was, because sex wasn't enough, maybe it was enough when y'all was younger, because as I said, you don't know no better, you know, and, and most of masculine energy are just trying to impress their friends, their, their homeboys, um, they have no, not a clue what it is to be a man, you know, uh, they haven't a clue that, you know, to be in touch with your, your emotions and to be vulnerable is actually uh, very masculine. Um, and I feel like that's why this angel of love visited you to uh, ask you like, you know, are you sure this is your love language? You know, because uh, it doesn't look like you enjoy this. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, this doesn't seem like a fun thing for you. So let's see, why is this 14 angel of love here for my divine masculines? May I have a message of love and light. Why is this 14 moderation and this 49 angel of love here for my divine masculines thank you spirit and let's see what's on the bottom of the deck we got the chariot see that i mentioned the chariot so you're moving forward now you you, you you're assertive you're being more assertive you know what i'm saying poking out your chest more you're meaning what you say you know and not to say that y'all was all you know like you know a punk or anything in the past it's just like now like emotionally you you are speaking you know, your love language, like you're, you're saying what you need, you're standing your ground, you know, you're, you're being vulnerable, you know, um, and this is also just, you know, very balanced, you know, that angel of love uh, brings about the balance, you know, emotionally, mentally, uh, you're more e uh, in equilibrium, you know, that's the change. So you've gone from someone very passive, uh, not really expressing or emoting what they need to somebody who's now saying they're taking charge. And it's because like you, you're coming fresh out of uh, betrayal, you know, being deceived, being used, backstabbed, lied, gossip, you know, all type of stuff going on. So we have this two of swords. See that? So the indecision, you know, having somebody up in your head, uh, you know, gaslighting you or mind ucking you, you know, this is the decision, like I said, that you were stuck at that, you know, that space where you are in two minds, you know, the two of swords is really being very indecisive, but it's not because you're um, confused, it's because someone external to you is confusing you, that's why she has this blindfold on and the moon is out, because it's really about like, trust your intuition, 
you got to trust your intuition and use, you know, your head, you know, this time around, you know, because uh, whomever you was dealing with, you know, with this four and four, what is this four and four? That's eight, nine. Yeah, this is about you changing um, the way in which you would normally approach this situation. You you can't let emotions and you can't, you know, allow someone to uh, confuse you, you know, because I do feel like there was uh, some deception here. And, and, and the flesh is weak. So it's about you taking uh, the time to assess the situation and cutting yourself completely free from what no longer serves serves you. And we have uh, Kashif uh, featuring uh, Melissa Morgan, and this is called Love Changes. So I can't make this up, and I'm going to show y'all, beloveds, because you know me. I like to show and prove. So Love Changes, and remember the angel of love the moderation that's about change and the angel of love. So there's love changes here. And it's because you finally assessed the situation. You did some soul searching, you know, this angel also stepped in. Remember you had the archangel Mikael come through with that big sword. And what he does is he will cut you free from anything that's toxic, karmic cords, lessons, yokes, hexes, spells. He will cut you free completely and provide you the illumination and clarity. And so that's why you're here now. Like, okay, you know, I got to, you know, use head over heart now because, you know, this situation that I was invested in, you know, for a long time was definitely, you know, it was taking its toll. You wasn't getting what you want out of the situation, out of the circumstance, but everybody was getting what they needed, what they required. So with this six, you know, I mean, the seven chariot, this is you taking your power back. This is you back into equilibrium. Remember completion. And then we have the angel of balance here. So let's see, why is this nine completion 48 angel of balance here for my divine masculine? See that? Confusion. This is the number seven of cups. So this is having a lot of choices, options, you know, and this is somebody also that could have been trying to you know, cause you to be confused. This is also associated with self-deception, self-sabotage, you know, thinking that you got all these options. Maybe this is even speaking in relation to options in love, you know, but spirit saying, look, you need to balance this thing out, beloved. You, if you're a divine masculine, like you claiming, you need a divine feminine. You can't have no birds, ducks, you know, geese in the mix. Like you, you need a swan, beloved, you know, you need that swan. You need to find that swan. <laughs> <laughs> I be making myself laugh more sometimes when I be in the flow stuff be coming. See that? Now you're leading the victory. There's a victory here. Breakthroughs. See that? This is you also moving on. This is the six of wands. We're about to clarify the fifty-six um uh relationship change and the forty-two woman holding a coin. And then we got this eight of wands. So the eight of wands also flew out flew out. So this is like I feel like this is action. This is action oriented. The wands are always about action. It's about power, passion. So I feel like you're moving forward. There's communication or there's some sort of action that you're taking to, I feel, you know, go after perhaps this, this feminine that you feel is best suited for you. You know, I heard best suited for a king. You know what I'm saying? So th this is like, that's why this relationship changes here, because I feel like you're walking away, you're leaving a situation and you're going towards what you're passionate about. You know, there could be some sort of communication back and forth, you know, and I do feel this distance between you and whoever your divine feminine divine um, counterpart is, you know, but I do also sense that there's this victory here. You know, there is victory. There is a major breakthrough. And I feel like it's because you are uh, swallowing your pride and you're just taking action. You're not uh, being fearful you know, as I said, fear is false expectations appearing real. Some of you all, if you were listening to some, da -dun -da -dun, you know, or listening to some of your homeboys that could be secretly uh, jealous, you know, uh, that you, you decided to go against the grain anyway and do what you wanted. And it's like some positive result. But whatever it is you're doing, remember, I also felt like y'all were in the spotlight. So a lot of people are looking up to y'all. A lot of people are seeing that you're manifesting some sort of very um, abundant life. Like you uh, seem to have a lot of things going for you. There's some sort of uh, blessings. There's some sort of forward movement. Um, I also feel like if you are you know, uh, coming into this union with this divine feminine, this could speak to, you know, marriage being in your future, you know, and, and, and you all having some sort of like, you know, public 
uh, ceremony like this is going to be made public. People are going to see the pictures or people are going to be discussing it and speaking about it online um, because I was picking up that Internet was uh, singing Only Girl in the World. So it's like you're reuniting with someone. I feel like you're reuniting with someone and this is like this is why there's this beautiful healing that's taking place. I was feeling like the collective um you know when divine masculine divine feminine come into union it heals the collective. That's what I keep hearing in my mind's eye. And we got MC Light and this is called um 10% dis. See that? So there's definitely, uh, there's going to be a lot of haters. You know, if you look in this crowd, there's a hater right there. See that hater? You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to spot the haters. Look at it. He's like, this is the gas face he's giving him. He's holding up the staff like, yeah, yeah. But deep down, like, you know, that's that smiling and beguiling energy I was picking up on. So that 10% diss, this is somebody trying to, you know, diss you, trying to, you know, disrespect or distract you know, this is a, a term we used to use back in the days. Like, you know, when somebody, um, you know, disses you, it's like they, they, they're trying to play you, you know, trying to insult your intelligence, you know, trying to clown you even, you know. But with teaching and learning, you're no longer falling okie doke, like falling for the okie doke. You're no longer affecting, allowing people's words to affect you or to um, affect your mood, your peace, your happiness, because it's like you're off that. You know, you're a healer of the ages, so you don't fall for, you know, some of the small, um, you know, these little trickeries, this little, this energy. You don't fall for that because you're, you're enlightened, you know, you're wiser, you, you've gone through some major awakening, you know. So let's see, why is the 56, 56, 57, see how I'm getting all tongue twisted? I just feel like somebody is very beguiling, somebody is, is, is very, um, you know, they speak with a forked tongue, they may speak very fast. They may be like, they got the gift of gab. They always know what to say. But this time around, it's like, it's, it's like you, you caught their eyes, like Jay was saying, like you caught something because you felt something was fishy, something wasn't right. Why is this 57 teaching and learning? It's like you learned something. You've learned from, you know, the past. Like you've learned from dealing with this person before. You know, you picked up on something. So that's why that, that teaching and learning, it's like you learned something. Oh, wow. So look at, see, I told y'all I can't make this ish up. With 10% dis, somebody coming through very beguiling, somebody who speaks with a forked tongue. I mentioned the devil earlier because I was picking up on that 25, seven deadly sins. And this is what the devil does. They are tricksters. And this person sees like, you know, they, they, they trying to see if they could get away with something because they know that you've been healing. They know y'all are enlightened. They know that y'all have come through some sort of awakening. But this time around, you're not falling for the okie doke because you've already learned lessons. And remember, the lesson shall repeat itself until it's learned. And y'all learned the lesson. And so much so that you've evolved into this ascended master. You're listening to your higher self. Your first eye is wide open, beloved. This is the number six. That's the sixth chakra is the first eye. You may know it as the third eye. I call it the first eye. And this devil. This, so you see. You already see. You're an initiate. Look at this. Beloved, what can I do for you? This is like, you know, look at this. This is, The devil is a fallen angel. So this is somebody in their shadow side. And you see, remember I mentioned the lovers. And this is the very opposite of the lovers. So the same way the lovers has an angel overseeing, um, you know, that union. The devil has... Uh, is overseeing a union where two people are bound and stuck. And remember, the attachment card was like bound. It was like stuck in the box. So somebody's trying to keep you boxed in, trying to keep you stuck, stagnant, trying to keep you bound to them because that's exactly what these two are. So this is not them wanting to be together by choice. This is them being stuck together through some sort of act of ma magic. And that's why you have to look alive, beloveds. Got to be quicker than that. I'm hearing that too in my mind's eye. And we got ML a row. We can be um, new. So somebody is trying to renew some sort of contract. This is like a contract. This is like somebody trying to do some sort of like soul contract with you. That's why I said y'all got to cut the cords, beloved. That's why Archangel Mikael showed up like who wants what? Who wants what? Because he sees this. If you are ordained and, you know, called the healer of the ages, if you have been ordained or you've been anointed by spirit, 
then you are protected, beloved. I kept feeling y'all had some sort of spiritual protection, like guardianship. Your angels, ancestors was telling y'all, nudging y'all. I was telling y'all you need to listen to your intuition. All of this information is coming out now. And it's because you got a devil lurking, somebody that is very, um, very beguiling, tricky, sneaky. See that? Five of Swords. I mentioned the Five of Swords as well. Five of Swords is here. This is that energy of somebody who is very much in a competition, wants to win at all costs. And that's what you was up against. That's why it required a lot of healing. You had to heal, you know, because 66 healing is what we're about to clarify along with journey and action. So this is why you needed to cut yourself free. You know, and I do feel like with we could be new, somebody going to try to come back speaking through their forked tongue, talking about we could renew this connection. We can reconcile. This could have been that wife, that ex that y'all was dealing with that was snooping around your business, trying to do some sort of spells, voodoo, hoodoo, juju, trying to keep y'all stuck because they know you have a spiritual union, a partnership that you are destined to be in. And they're trying to renew some sort of soul contract with you to keep you in this type of dynamic or arguing, arguing, bickering and fighting over money. This is crazy. Why is 66 healing here? 66 healing and two journey and action here. Spirit is like, you better bolt your asses up out of there. Remember that walking away and I kept hearing, we're going to wrap it up. Like, so spirit is like, wrap it up. And Archangel Mikael came through like, look, I got the sword. Cut yourself free. I was picking up on spiritual baths and this is why. I can't make this up. You already know what time it is with me. All right, so spirit, why is 66? Thank you, spirit. See that? I can't make this up. Cut yourselves free, beloved. Cut yourselves free. The ace of swords is about cutting yourself free. This is also about clarity. This is cutting yourself free from the people, places, and things that no longer serve you. And when you're cut free, now you can begin this new journey. Make the right decision because that too journey is about you trusting your own intuition and using discernment that's the high priestess but this is also about making the right decision for you because as you can see there's different directions you could go hence these directions on this pole and so it's like you got to take the right direction you got to take the right course of action so that you can be reunited you know reunited with your divine feminine that six six remember i told you when the numbers are double, that means you and your divine feminine are truly in the same vibration, frequency, energy, and you have the ability to come right back into union. There's a communic there's some sort of communication. And this Queen of Wands, see this old hateful mistress sitting around, you know, probably conjuring up some 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 uh spell work. This is the person that caused you great pain and agony, and spirit is like, wrap it up, the end. It's time to end this cycle. You know, you already been doing your work healing. You've been isolated. This person is sitting around. They already know. That's why I said they, they're familiar with your divine feminine or they're familiar with some sort of union or connection or chemistry or synergy you have with another person. I don't know if you, you know, you know how you in the beginning phases of your relationship and you talk about everything, even some things you should keep to yourself. So you may have mentioned that one girl that you had a lot of chemistry with, but oh, I don't speak to her no more. That's still in the back of her mind. She's thinking about that and she's checking for that. That could be why I was picking up on some old nosy broad, like putting all type of devices, you know, all, all type of, um, you know, um, spy, um, 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 programs on laptops, phones. This is somebody like really, really, um, researching something, looking for something very controlling as well. And she is the type of energy that will use sex, you know, cause this is a very passionate queen. So she could be very, um, you know, succubus as well, incubus as well. And this is somebody you've been really taking, you know, the necessary steps to heal from, cause they already broke your heart. You know what I'm saying? It broke your heart to realize or discover that this person really um, wasn't the one for you, you know, even though you tried to make it work, you know, but I feel like there's a lot of, um, you know, introspective work. You take an onus, accountability, you know, and this is about recovery as well, recuperating from past pain and hurt and trauma. But spirit is like, look, wrap it up. OK, spirit is like, wrap it up. The world represents, as I said, you know, the. You know, the energy of someone who's graduated, elevated, who is ascended. Remember, I said transform, evolve and ascend. And that's what you all have done. But if you keep, you know, this attachment going, if you continue to, you know, repeat 
some sort of cycle with someone when spirit already said karmic completion and completion is showing up again and then you got somebody talking because they have lips trying to convince you that they want something um different this time around then you're gonna get stuck in the cycle uh shay and so we have um still number one boogie down production so this one is still trying to be the main bra they're still trying to be um the only one you know um this is this is Boogie Down Productions. I'm still number one. One of my favorite songs. And so we got the name of the album is By All Means Necessary. So I feel like by all means necessary, you need to cut this person off. You need to free yourself. You need to go on a whole new journey. You need to take action. Quick fastness. With the quick fastness, beloveds. But this is your reading, beloved, 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 divine masculine, my yang energy. Uh, I apologize for the long wait. Uh, but as you can see, as I said, it is a deep dive. I will that the messages resonate. Definitely protect your energy. You got some beautiful energy coming in when you release the past, the ex, that karmic. When you do that, then I feel like nothing's going to stop you. Um, but this is a beautiful reading. Regardless, uh, look alive, pay attention because somebody is definitely trying to find some information, investigate something. They're looking for something. Um, maybe somebody just feels that you're, uh, you're not giving them the attention you used to, and they are already suspecting that you have someone else. And that could be why they're looking, you know, but remember what they say when you, you know, you poke around and look for stuff, you're going to find something that you don't like. So, um, but you protect yourselves, nonetheless, protect yourselves, protect your information, whatever sensitive information you may have in your homes, you might want to lock it up, invest, especially if you're going to have somebody coming around, like say, for instance, if this is like the mother of your child, you can't stop them from coming to your home. Um, um, but just make sure you lock things up. You don't just go to the grocery store and leave them just running around and rummaging through your isht. You know what I'm talking about? So this is your reading, beloved divine masculine yang energy. I hope the message is resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely rotate the love. Um, this is a very time consuming uh, process to do these readings. Uh, so I do um, will that you all find it in, you know, the kindness of your heart to subscribe to the channel, help to grow the channel, help to get the messages out there to others. I know that YouTube has changed their algorithm processes. So a lot of of my viewership has plummeted because I don't do shorts and things like that on this platform. Uh, that seems to be the new wave and um, I, I don't ride waves. Um, I stay consistent and I focus on what I am passionate on doing, but um, to keep the channel, channel growing and to keep the videos coming you know, just be kind, you know, uh, hit that like button, hit the share, hit the subscribe. When you hit the bell, uh, definitely select all so that you can know when I'm uploading. Uh, because uh, I noticed that a lot of people have said that they weren't receiving notification of my um, my uploads. But uh, thank you all so much for tuning and tapping in. I send a beautiful, beautiful uh, energy of love and light to you all. Uh, thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you are new, hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace.